Okay, so what we're going to talk about next is some of the extra features you can actually do with um, capturing the animation. Um, I'm just going to go back and go back to a big red one. Okay, let's just grab this. Okay, the tool, let's put on the transparent background. The tool actually um, separates out and works out all the masking for you. Um, before you had some controls where you controlled the masking, but now the tool actually handles the masking to give you very deep, opaque explosions where required and transparent fading out, as you've seen, nice and clean, uh, onto different coloured backgrounds. Now, one of the things the tool does, it creates quite a vivid edge around the, the explosion itself, where it's trying to detect where the explosion uh, needs to become start becoming transparent. Um, so, what you can actually do if this edge is not required for your app or it's in the way or you've got a very light background for example light background here and it's very noticeable what you can actually do is turn off the color boost uh, and the masking so if you turn this off and grab the new frames like so what you'll actually find is the tool actually softens the edge towards the edge of the uh, masks um, the mask towards the explosion so you can see now it's not so harsh the um, the mask. So if you've got a very light background, that's probably the option you'd need to choose to generate your um, explosions. Uh, and again, if you want to get nice, bright, tight masks, leave the op turned on. For most cases, most instances, that's okay. And typically, explosions happen very quickly in your game, so you wouldn't notice them. But um, some specifics you may need it switched off, like so. Okay. So again, we've got a lot more controls now over all these frames. I'm just going to quickly say, well, actually, I just want 12 frames. Rejig to my 12 frames. I'm going to export this now straight into Game Salad. Over 40 frames a second. I'll make it 30 frames a second. I'll do some random sizes this time. Spawn this out. Instantly take my 12 frames into Game Salad. And create my explosions and this time you can see there's different sizes happening this time um, and again that's just in the project file so that's a very quick overview of the explosion generator tool version 3 and what it can do um, a lot more options from version 1 and 2